you guys, there's another show I want you to keep an eye out for. It's really an amazing show. It's called O and O Rocket. I know, this is really obscure, but check it out. The guy that directed it, his last project was Full Metal Alchemist. Right? It's, a, it's a really neat show. It takes place in the Edo period, as you might have guessed from the title. And uh, it takes place in this little village, and there are these two guys that uh, are battling for who can make the best fireworks. <laughs> like rocket fireworks. And, uh, and I play the one of them, and he's a real, like, stupid... <laughs> he's really stupid, and he talks like this all the time. But he has no idea what he's talking about. And uh, it's just so much fun. Check it out when it comes out. All right, um, i tell you what I want to do. I want to take some questions as much as we can, and then I have a video that I'm fairly sure you guys are going to want to see, because it's, it's something that I made a long time ago, and I wasn't allowed to show it for a very long time. And now I'm going to make sure you guys get a chance to see that. Monster Classic on, I gave you a Snuggie. I'm wondering if you had it. You gave me the Snuggie? <laughs> Do you know what Snuggies are? Yeah. Okay, I have something to tell you, and I think you're going to like it. I hope you won't be upset. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly? Okay, it went to a very good cause, all right? Wait a minute, wait, you're going to like it. I have a very good friend in Los Angeles who I've done a couple of conventions with, and he and I got into a conversation over dinner one night about Snuggies and how much he thought they were awesome, right? This was a long time before you ever gave me that present. So when you gave it to me, the, this friend, his name immediately popped into my mind and I'm like, I have to give him the Snuggie. Who is it? His name is Michael Dorn. Oh my Michael God. Dorn on Star Trek oh Next Generation. Oh so, you need to please to know that a very scary Klingon, Lord, <laughs> is wrapping his body up in your snuggie. <laughs> and getting all of his Klingon cooties all over it. <laughs> oh, look at you. You look awesome. Yes. Say something in Tomaki's voice. What's your name? Braxis. you drink this coffee? <laughs> Only time that he can do that. I can't do that to anybody. Yeah, he, can do it. he can do it. He works his magic. Okay. Yes, baby. Uh -huh. Oh, like those twins. Again. Oh, wouldn't let me go to CBS to get your power in. Have you oh, seen hugs. any of them yet? Oh, well, Zero, I mean, right now, Tomic and Zero, two little twins. they're really, they're really they're the difference in attitude, if you think about it. Tomic is, uh, um, is much uh, more flamboyant and very outgoing, and Zero is much more to himself. Ask and much him about more, when he went on Made. Uh, torture. He was on MTV's Made. So it's that kind of thing. Hey, I have to tell you guys something. There are some people in the front row I have to introduce. Oh, brilliant. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is totally so scary. I was, when I, when I put on my Facebook that I was going to be coming to Detroit, a dear friend of mine who I grew up with, I mean like 12, 13 years old, um, who lived right up the street from me, Facebooked me and said, hey, me and my family live in Detroit, we would love to come and see you. I'm like, <laughs> sweet. She married another good friend of mine years ago, and they're here with their daughter and boyfriend, right? And uh, you guys have to say hello to Tarla and Keith and Haley and Luke. <laughs> say that, Tarla. I'm going to hope that Keith doesn't hit me because this happened long before you were married. She and I used to make out. Keith, <laughs> <laughs> Keith, come over and hit, ride his motorbike over to my house. 
and he would sit and play the piano. Oh, a song, one of the very mellow. Somewhere in the night. And there's a it's scary that I remember it. <laughs> there's a key change, and every time he had that key change, we had to make out. That was the make out cue. You know when in Mecca they ring the bell and everybody prays? Well, they, you play the key change, everybody makes out. That's fair. That's fair. Yes. I thought I did. <laughs> okay, listen, you guys, I'm fighting a cold, so I don't want to have to yell too much. So who has a genuine question about something? As opposed to, can you yell this? Or can you, you yell one for me, Big Ben? All right, a little red. Doctor? Yeah, I actually have two questions, but before I say it, um, I know I met you yesterday, but um, you have genuinely been one of my favorite voice actors, literally for the last time. Uh, like the fact that is one you are just one of the few gone. people that you have a message for. You talk to your fans. Yeah. You yep, yep. genuinely love your board. work, and it actually shines through because everything I've ever seen you do, it's so much more enjoyable because you love Aww. your character. Aww. Like, I'm not ashamed to admit it, when I watched Brotherhood, there have been moments where you've spoken to Alphonse where I genuinely was crying. <laughs> and the one thing that I know, not everyone knows about is the fact that before you were ever a voice actor, you were a police officer. And you helped people. Yeah. And just everything about you, I mean, I sound like I'm overly complimenting you, but you deserve it. You Aww. are just one of my favorite people on this earth. <laughs> And from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming to Yomakan. <laughs> I have two questions. Uh, uh, that's right, one. questions. Uh, <laughs> we forgot uh, about that. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get your hair to look like that? But no, 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 no. But my first question it's is, some of my favorite work you've done haven't even been voice work. It's been you and Steve Bloom doing <laughs> real fans of genius. <laughs> My question to you is, do you plan on doing any more, and how can you release them online? How many of you guys have seen or seen or heard the real fans of Junior? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> real fans of Junior! <laughs> Steve Bloop and I thought it would be really funny to do, like, you know, the real men of Genius, uh, the Budweiser things? Yeah. We thought it would be funny to, like, do special things about the kind of people you would meet at a convention. <laughs> So like there's one called uh, Yowie Obsessed Fangirl. <laughs> None of them are in here, of course. Um, there's one called um, Hallway Sleeper Guy. We all see them laying in the hallway sleeping at night because they didn't get a room, they just came to the con. There's, uh, yeah, there's um, uh, a um, bewildered con mom. What else is there? There's a uh, sweaty glomper guy. Yeah, um, so we did a lot of them, and uh, and Steve Bloom did the, you know, here's to you, Mr. Sweaty Glomper Guy. I did the, Mr. Sweaty Glomper Guy! You know, like, you know, right? And uh, we had so much fun, and you know what? I appreciate you asking about it, because we need to do another one. We just need to think of a good person to do it. We need to do somebody from the gaming room. Right? Mr. DDR like Master. That, that yellow the DDR smoke Master. that billows out of the oh. <laughs> It smells so good.